So I just got back from the hardware store. I picked up a couple things uh, for this little project that I wanted to do on the bug eye. I've been wanting to do it for a little bit and uh, I had to change it up slightly. I'll explain just in a second. So as we all know, the bug eye roof, it's done. It's freaking over, it looks awful, and I needed to do something about it. So what I did, uh, probably it's been a couple weeks now, is I've had roof wrap waiting to go on this. And I actually tried to make a video a couple weeks ago doing it with my dad, and it didn't work out because I didn't realize how difficult it is to take off these. My Hawkeye does not have these. These are from Subaru, and they're super, not really difficult to take off, it just takes time. And uh, I started really thinking about it and wrapping over stuff like this. You're probably going to see this outline when I wrap it. So I thought of another solution. What I think I'm going to do with my roof wrap, because obviously I'm not just going like, to throw it away or give it away, is I think I'm just going to put the roof wrap on the Hawkeye because that is obviously like it's perfect. Uh, or like the roof is perfect and uh, I've always wanted to do on that one. So I think I'm just going to do save the roof wrap for that. And I think what I'm going to do with this wrap or with this roof and I think it might look a little bit better just because of how gnarly it's peeling is my best friend, which is uh, which is Plasti Dip. I'm gonna go for it. So I picked up a couple cans of Plasti Dip. I honestly think it's only probably gonna take two of these, I think. Because normally, uh, like back in high school, I was legit like the Plasti Dip king. I would do all sorts of stuff on my car because I didn't really know how to work on it. So I just try to make it look cool. I'll do the wheels. I would do like the mirrors or whatever. Do like the front grill. I was getting pretty good at it. Um, so I think it's going to come out pretty good, I hope. Uh, because also like trying to wrap, like I haven't thought trying to wrap like around this. It would just be due to too difficult. And I think it's, it's honestly going to come out better because I can make it thicker. And... Uh, it's probably gonna cover up uh, like that peeling a little bit better. So hoping it's gonna come out pretty good. We'll see how it goes. So I pretty recently just washed my car. So it is basically as clean as it's gonna get. But before I start spraying and masking everything off, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a wipe down. Honestly, it doesn't really matter because there's literally just paint chipping off from the top. But you know, better safe than sorry. We're gonna go for it. Then we're gonna start masking this thing up. And then I'll show you how I'm gonna kind of break down the roof as far as uh, the section I'm gonna do. Should be pretty easy, we'll see how it goes. I may or may not have just came up with the most epic idea for this little, uh, I don't even know what you wanna call this, maybe like a roof spoiler or this little wing. It might turn out amazing, it might turn out absolutely horrible, but I think what I'm gonna do is, you see basically this line that's already made for me where the where the paint is peeling, and then underneath it's good, obviously, because it's not really exposed to the elements like the sun, their direct sunlight. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually Plasti Dip only the top. So I'm gonna come around and do only the top, basically following the line where uh, the paint goes from good to bad. I'm gonna be Plasti Dipping the bad part only on the top. So then actually you'll be able to see almost like a blue line that will come all the way across that will kind of follow the body line, right? But then on top it will be all black and if I was to open this or if you were to look at it at a different angle it would actually be blue on the bottom. Not sure how it's going to look but I'm gonna go for it. I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do this. Now I'll explain more as I go but essentially how you get clean lines with Plasti Dip is you have to pull off the tape immediately after spraying so you get that crisp line because if you wait obviously the Plasti Dip is gonna stick to the tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just lay tape all across this line straight across and then when I actually move to this guy and I start spraying like I said I'm gonna be spraying pretty heavily across where the actual tape is and then right when I'm done I'm gonna peel the tape and then wait like the 10 or 12 minutes to let it dry and then you have to basically repeat the process to get that clean line now I'm gonna start masking everything off then we'll start plastic dipping So we got the bug eye all masked up, ready to go. I'll give you a little walk around of basically what I did. And of course, I mean, 
this isn't going to be perfect by no means, but I, you know, I'll try my best for sure to make it as good as I can, but not too worried about everything being masked out perfectly. It was just like, you know, a little front project to do. So as far as the front, got it all masked up right here and then bring it all the way around. And again, it's just black plasti dip. So if overspray gets on this, I'm not too worried about it at all. Now I'll show you what I did back here. This is what I meant by uh, just a clean line all the way across all the way down so this is going to be my line dividing from the uh, the black and then the blue so what i did is i just did one strip all the way across back here now i'm going to be doing this towards the end uh, i'm going to let whatever overspray get on top and then i'm going to start focusing on this at the end just because i don't want to keep uh, taking it on taking it off uh, in the beginning so i'm going to get the main thing done which is going to be the roof then i'll move to this guy at the end now working all the way across taped up all the way down to the other side. So basically, how I'm gonna break down this roof is in four quarters. I'm gonna start in the passenger side. Oh, I got my little step stool here. So I'm gonna start in the passenger side. I'm gonna be going across here as much as I can, basically in this arm length. And then I'm just gonna move it down, get this back quarter done. Then I'm gonna move my little step stool all the way across there, get that done, get that done. Wait about 10 to 12 minutes, restart the process. I'll do a little time lapse. Hopefully it comes out pretty good. There's the before. Hopefully the after turns out pretty good. Also, I've been shaking this can for about mm, 10 minutes or so, or maybe like seven minutes or so, just to make sure it's all gonna be all good, broken up, ready to go. Not gonna be all clumpy. I think we're good to go. Round one is done. This is basically how it should look like. You should still be able to see the blue, but it should just be a pretty light coat all the way across. It's looking pretty decent so far, and like I said, I'm not really focusing on this whatsoever. I'm more so focusing on the roof. Then at the end, I'm gonna be focusing on this, but there's round one. Let's go for round two. Round two, I decided to get a mask on because it honestly, I forgot I had this, and it smells horrible, and it's probably not that good for you, so if you have one of these, or at least just like the really basic one, probably put it on. About to hit this round three right now. I probably should have got more plastic dip, only got two cans, might need three. But we're gonna go for it. Uh, the, basically, the uh, the first can that I'm using is almost done, so I got the second can prepped, ready to go. We're going for round three, see what it looks like. Hi. Tommy's here. What's up? I'm going double time, you know? Ready? Yeah. Ready. I swear to God, oh, I thought you were going to plug your Instagram more right now. Uh oh. <laughs> well, now that you said it, I might as well. Uh, okay, so if you're not following me on Instagram, uh, follow me here at, can you see it? At quattro.tommy. No one cares. Fast cars only. No one cares. So I lied and it seems like you are going to need, or it looks like you're gonna need more Plasti Dip than just two cans. So I went back with Tommy to go get a couple more cans of Plasti Dip. So, I mean, it's coming along. It's not coming along amazing, but as long as it's like black and you don't see a bunch of peeling paint, I'm honestly pretty fine with it. I'm gonna move along to start doing the uh, little little tail as well. I'm um, gonna get it all cleaned up and see what it looks like. Like I said, I'm gonna be going across this line and uh, there's our timer. Time to go. So this is what I was talking about. To have that clean line, just peel it off right away. 
and then uh, you'll get that clean line and it won't stick to the tape. So now I'm gonna let this dry a little bit, get it taped up again, lay another coat on it and I'll probably be, I can't even talk, <laughs> probably be good to go. But I kind of like that look, I don't know. It's kind of sick. You gotta fix it right here. Yeah, I'll fix on it right the there. the side, it goes like that. Goes farther down? Yeah. We'll fix, we'll fix it. it. We'll fix it. So we're running out of daylight, as you guys can see, it's getting a little bit darker. So luckily we got those two cans, Tommy's helping me out. The roof is coming pretty good. You can see it's a little bit wet right now. And uh, we're basically just going layer after layer. I'm trying to get as thick as possible so we don't really see any more of the, the actual like paint that was fading and like the, the difference between uh, like the clear coat was all messed up. So we're just making it super thick. It's coming out pretty decent. And this wing idea that I had, probably the best thing ever because it looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, it just kind of makes it stand out a little bit more. Kind of goes with that whole black roof theme, kind of have everything black on the top. Now, uh, we're putting down another round of tape. We're gonna put another layer on it, take off that tape, get that crisp line, see how it goes. All right, so we just had a really weird idea. Uh, you know how like JDM cars have the wing on like, the hatch, there's the top one and then the middle one. We're gonna see if his, uh, his Hawkeye wing fits don't ask it's even blue uh, oh my god wait that might be the same, this thing. Is the same thing oh my gosh Bro, this is gonna be incredible oh it's totally not gonna fit so you don't know that make some brackets honestly imagine we just put it on the top bro Are you fucking serious oh my god that would be like hold on wait is this epic? is that like a ducktail hold on is this epic or no don't let it sit don't let it hit is it amazing? Oh, it's not gonna fit. I can't really see. Oh, it's not gonna fit. It's too wide. Okay, what about but it might fit there. Shit. Oh my god. Isn't it incredible? Wait, if you could get it. Hold on. If we could make some like. If we can make the like bracket. chassis mount brackets, that'd be so honestly, funny. Honestly, honestly, yes or no? No, we could just like cut it right here. No. Wait, and hold then on. just How like it look, stick dude? it on. No, I'm being Here, so Here, trade serious. spots, trade spots. Okay, let me see. Cause I'll do it. Cause like, fuck it. Oh my god. <laughs> hold it on. It would be so sick. No, hold on. No, It'd I'm be, like, so whale serious. Tail. No. Be, like Porsche. Whale dude, no, tail. we can get Mike to make me a bracket. Literally two brackets that like flat. That kind of like that kind of like curve down wait, wait, like wait, a goose wait, neck. Hold almost. it out. Hold it out like. Wait, hold on. Hold it like right. We are way to the left too much, dude. Okay. Right there. Hold on, let me see. That's centered. Honestly, do we send it? I'm it would look so ugly. It would look so bad, but we should do it. Okay. Okay, we should probably just get back on top. Wait, how is it on the top? What if I can, wait, stack it, but don't touch it? Honestly, not bad. Not bad. You can make some brackets here. My stock WX wing was kind of sick, dude. I forgot I had it. It's kind of, it's sick. It would be sick if it didn't have like this like pillar here. Yeah, just, like, I mean ob obviously it's supposed to mount for like a truck, uh, like a trunk, but yeah. whatever. It's an idea. Always leave a trace. Did you, did you really do that? Yeah. You really did that. It literally says Tommy. It looks like it says Tammy. <laughs> it on. looks, that looks like an A. That is an A. That is Tammy <laughs> performance. Yeah. Incredible. All right, so we got the last, basically the last layer done. You can see it's still a little bit wet on top, but the wing right, came out. Fire with the clean line all the way across. I love it. Why don't we set the camera down set and the... record us both taking on the mask? Incredible. We will do that. I'm going to put it. Christmas so here. we're pretty much done. It looks better than it did before. That's all that matters. We're going to take off all the masking tape and then do a little walk around, see what it looks like. It's going to be sick. Goodbye, Tommy. looking pretty good right now. Honestly, not bad, huh? Oh, you should have painted that damn bumper too, though. What do you mean? The bumper's all half black already. I know, I should have just had it black. But what do you think of the wing, though? That's Look, at, I, I only did the top to keep like the whole top thing black, but then I left the bottom because the bottom paint was still good. Right, right. Kind of sick. That looks good. I mean, not bad. That's Better than it was. Looks good, here. right? What do you think, Tommy? I mean, you know, it's it's honestly it was easier than wrapping it and taking off this whole thing. Don't look at this spot, you know. There's a, it's a little rough around the edges, 
I'll get it cleaned up. Yeah. Oh, you can wipe that off with a microfiber. It'll come right off. It's like a lot of overspray. Honestly, it's kind of sick, dude. Not gonna lie. I'm down with it. It just, I mean, at the end of the day, it looks better than it did as like before. So, I'm honestly, I'm pretty down with it. I think it looks pretty sick. Go ahead and clean it up and give you a little final result. bit of light on it it's still a little bit wet as you can see but this is pretty much the final result I think my favorite part about the whole thing is definitely the little wing with uh, with the blue on the bottom with with the super crisp line I honestly think it came out pretty good I'm really stoked on it let me know what you guys think in the comments down below little plastic dip roof it took Took about four cans, I think each can's like 10 bucks or nine bucks or something like that. So obviously significantly cheaper than doing uh, the wrap. And I think it honestly probably came out better than if you did, uh, if you just wrapped it with like that, all that peeling that was happening, you would have seen all that. So I don't know, I think it was a lot easier than trying to take off those rails and everything. Came out pretty good. We'll see how it turns out uh, over the next couple weeks, if it actually holds up or not. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.